We haven't set any exercises for week eight because the course finishes next week and we would have been unable to provide feedback for exercises at this stage of the course. What I've done though is to suggest that you might want to have a look at a few things to consolidate the material from week eight. Of course this is totally up to you but these are areas that represent topics that I would have chosen for the week eight extension exercises and exercises if we had the time. Firstly, I would highly recommend that you have a good look at the discipline of project management and reflect on just how closely project managers and systems engineers need to work together on technical projects. Consider, for example, how the project manager would understand the scope, schedule and cost of a technical project without working closely with the systems engineering professionals. Consider how the project manager could develop project plans or produce project reports without input from the technical program. Grab a textbook or refer to the project management body of knowledge or some other project management framework and you will begin to appreciate just how important collaboration between the systems engineers and the project managers really is. Once you've looked at project management, you could also have a look at the discipline called Integrated Logistics Support or simply ILS. You'll need to see that ILS is focused on influencing the design of our systems to ensure that the systems can be maintained, supported and disposed of efficiently. ILS is a hugely important discipline that I think most people associate with traditional logistics. Traditional logistics is only one component of ILS. ILS covers things like technical documentation and data, reliability, availability, maintainability and usability requirements. It looks at producibility, it establishes maintenance and support programs, training systems, packaging, handling, transportation and storage, spares requirements, warehousing, facilities and so on. It is simply enormous and hugely important if we are to take a true life cycle approach to our systems. Once you get your head around the ILS discipline, it becomes plain that systems engineers and ILS professionals simply must work together when engineering our systems. If they don't, we may end up with a great system that can't be sustained throughout its life cycle. If you're still here and you're still interested in doing some more work, have a look at how systems engineers plan all of this systems engineering effort. And we do it via a plan called the Systems Engineering Management Plan, or simply the SEMP. It would be useful for you to know what is in a typical SEMP, so that you can ensure that your planning is comprehensive. For this exercise, I would point people to online resources from organisations like NASA, the various departments of defence around the world, INCOSI, and places like the European Cooperation for Space Standardisation. There are plenty more, but have a look around and find out what information and planning should be contained in the SEMP. It will help you when you're trying to pull this entire discipline together on your next technical project.